Now, Shabazz is taking us on a journey to some of his other cherished photography spots. This time, he's heading offshore. So today I'm getting the opportunity to visit one of my favourite locations. Even with this weather, it's not going to dampen my enthusiasm. So we're on our way to the Bell Rock Lighthouse. It's over 200 years old, this structure, and it sits 11 miles off the coast of Arbroath. We're about halfway there, it's a 45 minute journey by boat. I'm really excited to see the structure again. In 1796, a Royal Navy ship ran aground on the infamous Bell Rock Reef. 500 lives were lost and the lighthouse was commissioned. From a photographer's point of view, capturing a lighthouse that sits out in the middle of the water, especially at high tide when you can't see the rocks, and it looks like it's just floating there, is fantastic. It's a great subject to photograph. That's a bell rock coming into view just now, and it's just amazing seeing the structure emerging out of nothing and in the middle of nowhere. It's just amazing to see that. And with the clouds and the conditions improving constantly, I think we're going to get some great images today. So I can already see an image in my mind that I think I'm going to take. I can, the dark sea against the white cloud and it's the contrast between it. I think it'll look fantastic, especially perhaps as a black and white image. But the contrast, I think, is very powerful there just now. So this is where the image stabilising on the lens is going to come in handy. It's still a little bit choppy, but I'm just going to brace myself against this and get the shot that way. The first time I heard about the Bell Rock was as a child when my dad was driving us through our broth. And he told me about the lighthouse that sat out in the middle of nowhere in the water. And I found this absolutely fascinating as a child. And there were so many questions about how is it there? What's it sitting on? How did they build it? And my dad didn't have the answers, but it was such an amazing thing to learn as a child going that there's something out there in the middle of the water. So many years later, when I told the same story to my own kids about the Bell Rock, I thought I have to come out here and visit it finally. So I did a few years ago, and every time I come out and see this amazing structure up close, it just takes my breath away. At high tide, 16 feet of the lighthouse is underwater. That made its construction especially challenging. The men who built it worked in intense berths at low tide, sometimes up to their knees in water, before retreating to a boat anchored nearby. It's always great to get the drone out to get some aerial perspectives of something like this. It's amazing viewpoints you can get from the drone, so I'm going to try and fly a little bit higher, not too high, just to get something a little bit different around the sides and maybe get some video footage as well while I'm at it. So the lighthouse became operational in 1811. It's amazing to think over 200 years it's been standing so proud. Because it's high tide, it's fantastic with the drone because I can actually see the little helipad that's hidden away under the water just below the surface and the rocks as well. So this perspective would not have been possible from the ground level given the tide so high, but I can get that shot from the aerial view. So it's time to start our journey back home and it's been another memorable trip. My favourite image is the one with the dark skies against that moody sea. I'm really pleased with how today's gone. And we'll be back with Shabazz later in the series, visiting more of his favourite locations.